Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Sag. All right. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So sad. Let's see. What is going on for you this week? What is the energy of the week for you? All right. The present situation. What's the present situation? Present situation. Ten of Cups, very nice. You're happy. The stage is set for happiness. You are absolutely happy. Um, it just says perform well. You may be calling a truce between you and your loved one or in your family. Um, coming together, falling in love. Um, it's just a happy vibe. What are the influences here? Um, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the influence was maybe there was an inner. This could be used to Sag. Um, you were at a place of wanting to give up because this was a rocky relationship. It was um, a sticky situation. You were too focused on what happened um, and not focused on the present. And then also you, you really didn't have a clear view, picture of the future. So maybe you decided to take a break. Um, also, you were asking yourself, should I continue fighting for this? What are the challenges this week for my Sagittarius? The Ace of Cups in Temperance, yourself. Okay, so falling in love, allowing yourself to fall in love, allowing yourself to be in love, to be filled with spirit, to be filled with love, um, to salvage a connection, to compromise, to have balance, to um, uh, allow spirit to uh, do a work on you and your partner with the, with the Ace of Cups in Temperance here. Um, the challenge could be you being in love with someone who um, just doesn't love you back or not in the same capacity. Uh, that could be for some of you. The, balance, the challenge could also be finding balance between your emotions. I'm not tipping the scale. Knowing when to tap into that feminine and then that masculine energy knowing when to compromise because you want to see the end game the end goal here and a lot of times in the temperance card it says a healthy wealthy marriage you know um and that could be what the end game is here for you what's the final outcome for my sagittarius okay this is going to pop out the three of wands seeing this through um waiting waiting for things to change. This is the creation phase. Um, taking the long view, you know, um, not being focused on just today, but being focused on tomorrow, what we're creating, a global scale, a larger scale, expansion, movement. Um, you could be waiting for communication. You could be waiting for something to return to you or someone to return to you. Um, what is the theme of this connection? What is the theme here? What is the theme of this? Well, not of this connection, but what's the theme of this week? What's the reason for all of this? What's the theme here? What's the theme of this week? What's the reason, Morgan? Okay. The Hierophant. All right. So to come and bring a balance, stability, uh, morality, um, functionality also of a corporate way of existing to bring together to um, have routine structure regimen here to guide so um, maybe even to bring back together you and someone else the hierophant could be a Taurus you could have it in your chart um, so the hierophant governs the five so there are there's instability or there was instability in this connection so the theme of all of this of why it's happening of um why the energy is good um is because um the universe is trying to bring structure balance traditionalism back into your connection back in uh back into your week 
back into any connection that you're in, back into your life. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So it looks like some, maybe a burdensome connection is over with the Nine of Wands and then the Ten of Wands. It says, let it go, release it, okay? There is something in this connection that needs to be examined, okay? Um, and you might need to go ahead and examine that so you don't have to um, try to redefine this or have to take a, a look at this again or go over this again with the Ten of Wands. Also, it says that maybe... There is some karmic cycle ending for you and your person, for you this week, for you in your job sector, for you in whatever aspect of your life this is hitting. Um, you go from Ten of Cups to Ten of Wands. So this is really good. Um, it's just about laying down the burden of uh, also victimization, victimhood, you know, you know, yeah, victimhood, uh, pointing the finger knowing what part you played in this um owning up to it moving forward okay so this is your week i hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you sagittarius many blessings to you